Welcome back to Forbes Education. This is Zeth. Today I'm going to be talking about SNDL. This is an update to my last CD. You'll find that one in the description below to watch it after this one. Make sure to drop a like to this video and subscribe to the, uh, with the notifications on to help to get the channel up to grow. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We see here on a technical analysis point of view, we get to see an offering uh, that happened somewhere around between 13th evening uh, and did dip the price down a little, well, quite a lot. Uh, this price has kind of uh, started off a little bit around the 56 cents and ended around 45 cents at the, at the end of the day um, and then didn't really recover it just kept dropping down uh, as we move forward and it's sitting currently a little bit around 39 cents from the low of 37 cents now on the macd here you see that it was going on a negative reversal uh, there it might be actually a chance that we're seeing the bottom uh, the macd here needs to be confirmed by the one hour interval but on the ADX here, it does show that there is a potential of a trend forming and a willing percent R is an oversold and a momentum that seems to be a little bit recovering. So all in all, uh, other than the moving averages here that look absolutely bearish in every kind, it looks like it has a chance. Um, so moving on towards the one hour perspective, we get to see something a little bit interesting here. Of course, I have to zoom in because uh, it's a bit of a mess here. The MACD seems to be recovering really nicely. Uh, coming in towards Monday. The ADX here seems to be a, indicating a sloppy move, but the willing, uh, willing percent R seems to be oversold, but momentum seems to be really regaining it. 10 SMA is really moving on closer towards the 30 EMA, and the stock price has closed very much closely above the 50 SMA or barely touching 50 SMA, which really ranks it as the stock is really trying its best and it's kind of moving on towards a bullish view. Now, once that 10 SMA crosses the 30 EMA, you get uh, a positive sign for or a chance of a break, uh, breakout. Now, moving on towards where the moving averages are in this band, and you get to see it's expected to trade between 49 cents and 0 0.60 uh, on the moving average band. Now, on balance volume, you get to see on the last trading day, it has, kind of, has gained quite a bit on there. So that is a really good sign. Moving on towards Fibonacci retracements. In terms of trying to identify where the supports and resistances are that are very significant to the stock. Now, I would like to say uh, I'm not gonna actually do this one here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do six months one day, uh, and that is significant for one reason. I want to highlight the low of the stock. The lowest of the stock was on 14th May, and it did before above that low of the stock. We're seeing a point 45 before there, where it dipped one day, 13th of May. And followed by 14th of May down to 37 cents. So 14th, 14th of May, sorry, 13th of May was actually 39 cents. And so we've seen the same price here happening on the same day. So it literally hit its 52.7 low, peak low on Friday. So it's really bottomed down. What I'm gonna do quickly here is Fibonacci retracements. And you get to see that the current sub, uh, resistance is 69 in the Fibonacci retracements. Now we can move forward. And we can do something different here and put in the one dollar seventy at uh, one sixty in order to try to determine a bit more um, of a more levels to it. Okay, we can say 0.57 is another Fibonacci resistance. <clears throat> now, what are significant resistance levels? 0.44 is a really significant one in my opinion, and it looks like in the chart it has moved there. 0.44 to 0.45. And then above that, we're seeing uh, somewhere around 0.49, above that 0.53, above that 0 0.58, 0 0.60, and 0.62. Now, what happened here was earnings, and it really got slapped down. But my expectations was this stock is going to go up to back to 0 0.52 and could easily see 0 0.58 as that seems to be a little bit of a reasonable level here on the white line. So I'm going to mention how I'm going to be playing the stock. So quickly, just going on through a little bit of an overview about the stock in terms of news perspective. Now, this is their updated uh, presentation, and you get to see that they're moved on to an effectiveness phase. So that we do expect some kind of PRs going on. And I'll do I'll do explain a little bit more in terms of uh, why this stock is dipping that fast. Uh, I did nothing here new that I didn't cover in my last TD in terms of different things in the presentation so i'm not going to go through there um 
their offering was a 50 cents so that is something that we do need to mention so it's trading quite a bit below their offering they're trading i believe it closed in the extended market at 39 cents i'm going to catch on the 39 cents they're trading 22 percent below offering price this current moment and on the friday uh on the low it's trading a bit more than that at uh 26 uh sorry that's two six 26 percent below we get to see here on the last week two uh, one, entire position has been gone by wealth uh quarterback and then you get to see by uh this one here they did decrease their um their shares by 70 percent now nothing significant there you get to see big names like morgan stanley for instance did actually decrease their position but you get to see first marathon canada pension uh plan investment board half shares in there um who else do blackrock still has shares royal bank of canada some bigger names on there as well so now how i'm going to be playing the stock and how i expect the stock to trade so this stock here doesn't have a clear catalyst in mind uh no clear catalyst they're not a pharma so no fda no new trials no 510k form uh, sorry approvals so it's a little bit vague uh weed is legal in canada and that's where they're so where basically their sales are operate <clears throat> Canada is opening up um, a lot of stages here in Canada have hit stage three or phase three um, so what is the expectation for the next catalyst that is unclear and a lot of the times with smaller cap companies what happens is when a lot of traders don't see a straight catalysts they panic and they sell and that's exactly what I think is happening here but if you're looking for a longer swing this is a really beautiful chart. It's bottom down. I definitely buy it any day on 37 cents, but that's my opinion. That basically was my entry point. Uh, I was away on Friday over there, so I didn't really uh, get back onto it, but does it back to 37? It's amazing. 39 is not that far off. It's only 4% up, but uh, that is one of the swings that I would consider. Is that a good price? As you can get to see, the, pro the, the, uh, the chart is really bottom down. But the risk is uh, a reverse split. That is a major, major risk. Um, and I'm going to go here quickly through um, as well compliance. So, so basically in terms of non-compliant companies, is this company part of the non-compliant list? Now, <clears throat> my bad. Looking over here, and I'm sharing my screen. This is a list of all of the ones that are non-compliant. And you get to see Sundial once has received theirs on uh, the 12th of May. So going back, <clears throat> let's go back towards news. And then it is on the 5th of May. So somewhere around... The listing somewhere around here. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I miss it? Hmm. Probably going to be one of these forms. So around here. Let's just double check again. Uh, oh, my bad. It says 12. So right here. And this is loading here. <clears> hmm. <throat> update on preventive for London uh, deadline from us okay no that is not it going over again here so I don't have an update on that you'll find it in the description below I'm gonna quickly dive into it this is just something that's <laughs> quickly popped back in my head in terms of delisting uh, but they're not compliant uh, they did receive it but it's not showing up on my portal and it did not show up earlier and that's why it went down my radar but there is a possibility, a very, very strong possibility of a reverse split for the stock. Uh, and that is something to be understood uh, with a lot of these stocks that do trade below a dollar. Now, I don't have that delisting material. Let's see here quickly. Nope. Okay, so we don't have. So how would I trade the stock? Definitely, it's a really nice uh, bottom down still. There is a risk of delisting, but the reward for that, or the reward, upper reward for that, is any catalyst can easily see the stock jump. Would I buy it? 
right now, I'm a little bit bearish in terms of this. Oh, I'm sorry, a bit of the market sentiment, but um, I would definitely buy it on 37 cents. What do you think about this sticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.